If you're looking for cheap and instant Madden 17 coins on any platform, make sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off your purchase. Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with a different type of rebuild video today. Today is a themed based rebuild, and as you see in the title, we're going to be doing what will happen to the Patriots once Tom Brady does retire. And what we're going to be doing, obviously, is a team rebuild of the Patriots once Tom Brady is retired. And Tom Brady is no longer on the Patriots in this video because he is, in fact, retired. As you see, guys, we go to the depth chart. There's no Tom Brady. There is no freaking Tom Brady. So the Patriots without Tom Brady doesn't seem right, but it's what this video is going to be about. And a lot of people might have differentiating opinions on this because, as we've seen, Tom Brady's been suspended for the first four games, and Jimmy Grappolo stepped in, he got hurt, Jacoby Brissett stepped in, he's now hurt, but they've won every single game. Who knows, they're probably going to start Julian Edelman tomorrow at quarterback, and they're still probably going to win. And even a couple years back, when was it, 2011, when Tom Brady got hurt for pretty much the whole year and Matt Castle stepped in and they had a really, really good season. So some people might say without Tom Brady, they'll be just fine. So we'll have to see. So let me know in the comment section below what you think will happen to the Patriots once Tom Brady does retire in probably, what, two, three years maybe. We'll have to see. It's definitely going to be a different looking Patriots squad. But today, we're actually going to see what's going to happen to the Patriots once Tom Brady does retire. But we are going to try to put together the best possible team. And the goal is to still win the Super Bowl with the Patriots without Tom Brady. So we're going to have to put some pieces together without Tom Brady. I'm going to keep... I, I haven't decided yet if we're going to keep one of these quarterbacks or trade for another quarterback. It's going to depend on what we do with the rest of the team. And with that being the case, guys, let me know by dropping a like if you enjoy like the theme-based rebuilds. And if you have a suggestion for a future rebuild, sort of like this, but maybe a different player or just a different situation... Let me know in the comment section below, and if I see one that's awesome, I'll definitely do another one just like this. But first of all, as always, we need to assess the team and find where we need to make the upgrades at. And when you look at the Patriots, I think the number one need, obviously, this whole entire offensive line needs to be rebuilt, like from top to bottom. Maybe not, well, probably not Nate Solder, but the, we need, I'm probably going to get a new center, left guard right guard and right tackle because that's just unacceptable and if we're gonna have a not tom brady as quarterback as our quarterback we gotta have a good offensive line to protect him we might i definitely might take another slot receiver although we do have some good ones including edelman and danny amendola but at least one more receiver maybe a better running back and now looking at the team defensively what do we need to do definitely a better backup middle linebacker shade mcclellan's Okay, so that kind of confused me, but we are going to get a better second middle linebacker. Maybe one, yeah, definitely one or maybe even two more corners and possibly a better defensive end than Chris Long because we need to make this team as good as possible because I want to win this Super Bowl without Tom Brady, without a good quarterback. Maybe I shouldn't get a quarterback. Maybe that should be the challenge. Maybe, with the, maybe starting Jimmy Garoppolo because I think at this point, Jimmy Garoppolo, I mean, he's played solid. So if Jimmy Garoppolo can develop behind Tom Brady for another two, three years until he retires, I think he's going to be a solid quarterback. And I think he'll be the quarterback of the future for the Patriots post-Tom Brady. So you know what? We're going to start Jimmy Garoppolo for this rebuild. So the, the challenge is is to rebuild the team and win the Super Bowl around Jimmy Garoppolo. So that's going to be the challenge. Let's get into it, and let's start making this Patriots team the absolute freaking GOAT. The tricky thing about this rebuild is, is the fact that we only have $18 million in cap room. The other rebuilds that we have done, we've had a little bit more than that. In the Browns one, we had like 40 and in the 49ers one, we had like roughly, I think it was over 30 It's definitely the smallest amount of money we've had to spend, but... More, yeah, by far the best team we've started off with, so I think we'll be okay, but is it smart to go ahead and spend money on a offensive lineman, just straight up, not trading anybody, just hitting our cap, and is that the move? Phil Lodehouse no longer there, I'm guessing he got signed by somebody and they changed it in the roster update, but I think what we're going to do, what's the smartest move? What is the, you know what, we are going to get a center John Sullivan, six million seems like a lot, but he is an 87 overall. I think it's worth it, guys. We are gonna sign him. It's gonna bring us back down to 13 million, but I think we can work some things out and with 13 million make this into a very good team. So I was relatively confused on why Sebastian Vollmer is not on the depth chart. Like when I was looking at the team, I was like, what the heck? 
But we are actually going to start Sebastian Vollmer at right tackle. I don't know why he wasn't on the depth chart to begin with, but there he is. The Broncos need a right guard more than any other team in the NFL, according to the team needs. And we have a young guy, Jonathan Cooper, who uh, every team that needs a right guard is slightly interested in. So let's see what we can, in fact, get from the Broncos to help our team. I know Aqib Tlaib will be a huge cap hit, but I just, I just want to see. I just want to see Aqib Tlaib back to New England. Should I do this, guys? This would be such a big cap hit. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. You know what? Maybe we add somebody else in that's actually relatively expensive. Look at how many left guards the Patriots have. They have a ton of left guards, but they're all crap. You know what? Take Vincent Valentine as well, and they're very interested in him. They are very interested in Valentine. Although he's a god dang 69 overall, maybe that's why they're interested in him. What if this goes through? What if this goes through? Well, that's a pretty good cornerback to add to the team. So the most value we're going to get out of Marcus Cannon is going to come from the Steelers. So let's see who we can get from them. Ooh, what about David DeCastro? What about David DeCastro? Will you give me what this is going to be done if this goes through? It's... Oh my god! Oh boys, this is uh, this is pretty nice. This is this is gonna go through easily. Let's just add in a bullcrap cornerback that we don't need. Just just take anybody. Like take my goddamn pubic hair, and this is gonna go through. Jonathan Jones is 60 overall. Welcome to the team, David DeCastro. What a ro oh, well that was anticlimactic. Actually, you know what? We'll just throw in a draft pick. Just throw in a bullcrap draft pick. Let's just go with. We have a ton of draft picks. What about next year's six? Next year's six. Welcome to the team. David DeCastro. What a freaking two additions we've had so far. David DeCastro and Aqib Tlaib. And right then, we actually made two million back in cap room. So we're about to get something very, very, very good from the Buccaneers. Because they're very interested in all of these players. So this is about to, this is, we're about to get somebody good. If we can get Doug Martin. And a second middle linebacker out of this deal. Ooh, boys. Ooh, boys. Oh, what about what about Doug Martin straight up? What about Doug Martin straight up? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We just got one of the best running backs in the freaking game. Well, now the Buccaneers need a running back. You know, we'll, we'll take Robert Ayers Jr. Like, we'll give you LeGarrette Blunt for him. How close are they? Oh, my God. What the heck, dude? What the heck? Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, Robert Ayers Jr. Like, what the heck? The players that we've added have been absolutely insane. We only have seven million left in cap room, though. We gotta be very careful. We still have some needs. We gotta fill. So the Colts are really interested in Chris Long. I'm trying to see what I can get back in return. We still need a left guard, and Jack Mehart's perfect. 84 overall would step right in the start. And he's a very small cap hit, which is a big help to us because we're only at 8 million left. So, come on. Come on, Colts. You know you want to. You know you want to. It was accepted straight up, dude. Like, I'm the freaking GOAT. I'm the goddamn GOAT GM. Like, the Patriots need to, like, call me right now and hire me. Like, I could build a Super Bowl team in two seconds. What about Cyrus Jones? He's a young cornerback. They're very interested. This might actually happen. What about this? What about this straight up? What about we throw Jacoby Brissett back in there? Let's try to save that first round pick. Come on. You know you want Jacoby. You know you want him, bro. Jacoby Brissett. In this deal. Eagles accept. It's going to be the first rounder. It's going to be the first rounder, but it's going to work. It's going to work. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the god dang team. Fletcher Cox. Let's freaking go, boys. Let's freaking go. Fletcher Cox into the team. This team is an absolute god squad, but we only have Four mil left. So we still need another middle linebacker. If we compare CJ Mosley and Dante Hightower together in the same linebacking core, oh my god, that would be deadly. But let's see what we can work. What type of magic can we work right here? What about a first round draft pick from next year? And that made it bad. But what about a second? What about a second? Come on, Ravens. I want him bad. I want him bad. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. How about Eric Rowe instead of Waddle? It was accepted! Let's go, boys! Let's freaking go! CJ Mosley, Dante Hightower, the two middle linebackers for the New England Patriots. So the two positions I still want to get players at is wide receiver. I want to get a third wide receiver or maybe a fourth wide receiver and then get another right outside linebacker because that's one of our worst positions right now is right outside linebacker. So let's do some magic. What if we could get DeAndre Levy straight up for Barkevius Mingo? That would fill our right outside linebacker problem, and it is this is gonna happen. 
man. This is this is crazy. I'll go ahead and give you a fourth. I don't mind. I don't mind. Just give me DeAndre freaking Levy, boys. This team is just this team better win the Super Bowl. I know this trade isn't gonna happen, but I just want to try it out. We no longer need Malcolm Brown because we have two very good defensive tackles. So I just want to see what the Steelers say. They're very interested in him. We want another wide receiver that would definitely help our cap room. Go ahead and take Brandon Bolden, this guy. Just go ahead and take him. Go ahead and take him. We get Martavius Bryant, boys. We still have like three mil left to go in our cap room. So I know this isn't going to work. But I just want to try. I just want to try. Oh, my God. Oh, my. That is so freaking close. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Dolphins, Dolphins. Dear God, Dolphins. No. Get, no. This is working. This is working. This is working. This is working. No way. No. Jarvis Landry is a Patriot. What even is this? What even is this rebuild? So I'm done with the team there, guys. This team is scary. By far the best team I've put together. I mean, look at this guy dang offense. I know we don't have Tom Brady, but this offensive line looking so much better. Obviously, we had two great tight ends to start off with. The receiving core, dude. Julian Edelman, Danny Amendola in the slot, Jarvis Landry, and Martavius Bryant. Two veterans with two very talented wide receivers. Just insane. Not to mention one of the best running backs in the game in Doug Martin at the running back position. That's uh, pretty crazy. Now defensively, dude, this is just stupid. Look at that linebacking core. Look look at the secondary. The whole entire defense, dude. The whole goddamn, the, the lowest overall player, the worst player defensively for us is CJ Mosley. Like that tells you right there. The corner's amazing. The defensive line, absolutely amazing. Like, if we don't win the Super Bowl, dude, with this team, something, something's messed up. Like, if we can if we can stay healthy, we're 100% winning the Super Bowl. We've got to. Week one at the Arizona Cardinals in real life, they beat the Cardinals without Tom Brady. And with the team that we have compared to what they have in real life right now, if they won in real life, we should beat the Cardinals by about 737 million points. We lost? We lost? How did that... Nah. How did my defense give up 38 points? Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Now, if we lose to the Dolphins, thank God we didn't lose. We only won by six. Now, we've got to beat the Texans. Like, 100%. Like... We better not lose the rest of the season. We better not lose the rest of the season. We beat the Texans, thank God, by one point. The Jets are 3-0. The Jets are 3-0, and my Patriots team lost to the Cardinals. Love it. One player's regressed. Watch it be Jimmy Garoppolo. Watch it be him. Oh, it really is. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Division matchup against the Bills. The Bills have, like, so little talent compared to us. And like I said, 3-1. We finally won a game by more than a cunt hair. Look at the division. Everybody's 3-1 and one except the Bills who we just beat. And we got somebody injured. Who's that? Don't be... Watch it be Garoppolo. It'd be like real... It'd be realistic. Oh my god! 43 weeks? Well, that helps our offense out a lot. If we don't beat the Browns with this team I assembled, something's up with this game. We beat the Browns, thank god. We beat them 38-17. I'm going to wait to the trade deadline, which is in two weeks, to see if we need to pick up another running back because Doug Martin is rip, rip. But let's see if we can beat the Bengals. Of course. Of course we are. By two touchdowns. Now everybody's three and three. So things are looking pretty good for us. Who regress this time? Garoppolo again. For some reason, I'm a little worried about this game. Traveling to Pittsburgh to take on the three and three Steelers. We should get the W, though. We should be any team in the NFL with the team I assembled. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? 6-1. and one. We won by 5. I don't care if it was by 1 or 7,225.7. We got the W. About to beat these Bills. 100% beating the Bills, right? I don't know. Did we beat the Bills? We did, of course, beat the Bills. How did we lose week 1? I effing simmed past the trade deadline. I simmed past the trade deadline. I'm a f***ing idiot, dude. Oh, I wanted to get a better running back. I wanted to get a better running back. We had six mil to spend. Oh, rip. You know what? Screw it. Let's just sign Trent Richardson just to have some depth. Trent Richardson's going to be Super Bowl winner. Take it on the 5-2-1 and one Seahawks at home. This is probably our toughest game yet, but we've pretty much ran away with the division by this point. I just hope nobody gets injured. I'd rather us lose this game opposed to somebody actually getting injured. But regardless, with this team, we should beat anybody by like 100 points. Of course we won. Of course we did by... 37-15. Look at the god dang 49ers. 
08 and 1. Guarantee facts. Absolute facts. We lose to the 49ers. Like, it's just facts. 100% facts. Never mind. Somebody's injured, though, so I'm kind of scared. We only won by two touchdowns, but I'm more scared about this. Don't be somebody big. Don't be somebody big. I'll. Oh, good. Good, good, good. A left guard. Love it. So our current left guard is a 7-3 overall since Jack Muhor is hurt. So what I'm going to do is sign Ryan Wendell and play him at left guard just for those five weeks while he's hurt. I'd rather, like, sit everybody than get the win. Like, I, I just want to not people get injured. We're 10-1, though. That's pretty freaking good. Watch us lose to the 3-8 and eight Rams. Nope, 11-1. This is, uh, although we're winning a lot of games by just a little bit, just a little bit, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're winning. That's all that matters. Garoppolo. Garoppolo, watch. Yup, Paxton Lynch has been sacked 53 times? What? That's a, that's a lot of sacks. Oh, the 6-6 six and six Ravens. It's, it's, I mean, should I even have to tell you that we're gonna win that game? Of course. Of freaking course we are, dude. So if we lose to the Broncos... Who have a quarterback that's been sacked a million times. Of course we won. 13-1, dude. How did we... We're on a 13-game winning streak. How did we lose week one, man? But the way we're playing, the god dang Cardinals better be a freaking god squad because it's the only team who's beat us. Like, we're going to go undefeated the rest of the year. Guaranteed fact. I thought we just... I thought we were already 14-1, but it doesn't matter. We win again. I mean, I'm used to it now. Well, let's finish the season with a 15-game winning streak as we're about to beat the Dolphins. And this is the best team I've ever freaking put together, dude. We almost went 16-0. Almost. Watch me lose because I said that. No, 15-1, dude. A 15-game winning streak. What did the Cardinals do, dude? The Cardinals better be... Oh, what do you know? <laughs> funny that I say that. That's actually pretty freaking funny. So out of all the games, who did the Cardinals lose to? The Bills? The Bills? You gotta be kidding me. I beat the Bills. Well, two players have regressed again. Let me guess who it is. Garoppolo and James White again, god dang. If after this whole entire season, we lose in the divisional round to the 9-7 and seven Chargers, I'm gonna be a little salty. A little bit. Oh, of course we didn't, dude. Of course we didn't. The last step. Before the Super Bowl against the 10 and 6 Bengals. Last time I was in a situation like this, I think I played the Bengals in the Super Bowl of one of these rebuilds, and they beat me. They're not gonna keep me from going to the Super Bowl because we're about to get this goddamn W. And whoa, somebody's injured. Then we lost. We lost. We, did, we, did we really just lose? Did we really just lose to the Bengals? We lost to the Bengals by six, by six points. What, dude? How? How? We ran for 46 yards. Good job, James White. Pretty sure a 91 Doug Martin would have played better there. Well, it makes a lot of sense, man. The two 15-1 teams are both now out of the playoffs. Cardinals lost in their first game to the Vikings by 15. It's like I lose to the Bengals every single time. <laughs> Oh, what a brilliant end to the video.